Independence Day was one of reflection and remembrance for a group of severely wounded veterans. CBS News' Vanessa Murdoch was with them as they visited the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. I just wanted to serve my country. Home of the free and plan to keep it that way. These are the faces of our freedom. Veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan, all severely injured in the line of duty. This Independence Day, they're visiting the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. It's very emotional. Um, you know, this, this is where it all started. A little bit overwhelming. Brings back a lot of memories. This is why I joined the Marine Corps. 9-11 happened. Um, you know, really that was my calling, I knew. Independence Day, a day to remember. Remembering my brothers that fell in combat. They gave uh, blood, sweat, and tears. This July 4th, these survivors remember first responders killed on 9-11, placing American flags beside their names. Many of them clustered next to the name of Stephen Siller. Special because today these veterans are guests of the Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers Foundation. My brother, along with the other first responders, were the first casualties of the war on terror. And these guys carry the torch since then. After placing their flags at the memorial, the veterans visited the museum. Inside, reminders everywhere of why they went to war. From engine three to the hand-painted pieces of blue paper, all a reminder of the nearly 3,000 people killed on 9-11. It's kind of like being at a funeral. That's kind of the feeling that you get. It's a pretty amazing experience going through there and pretty intense. I was remembering a lot of the guys that we lost in Afghanistan. It was. It's hard times, not things I like to remember. But things that are hard to forget, and that's why we salute these veterans, thank them for their sacrifice, because they are the faces of our freedom. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. And their day will conclude with a front row seat to view Liberty State Park's fireworks.